Hello guys, welcome to Robbie Travels, a new day here in Manila. And today we are here at Manila North Cemetery, where the living live together with the dead. Let's go guys. happening here guys I just arrived here and it's like uh, all the firemen are coming through here as we walk through the Manila cemetery we can of course see many graves of politicians artists former military leaders even former presidents like this one here for example look at this the tomb of a former president who is this president, Matt? Ramon Magsaysay. Uh. They call it Man of the Masses. So here we have it then, the tomb of the former president. He died in uh, 1957. And on the other side, we got his wife. Oh my God. What's happening over there? Oh yeah. Let's check that one out. They have some parade over there or something like that. So guys, it seems it wasn't a parade after all. It's like a funeral for a firefighter or something like that. Really sad. And uh, they had some uh, fire trucks standing up here. You saw the water going up to pay some less respect to these firemen. Yeah, really sad. Everywhere you can see like these beautiful memorials like this one here for example Some have stunning stunning monuments like this one here other have beautiful statues Then you have other ones that are a little bit more sober like this one for example And actually in many of these mausoleums there are actually people living there who take care of the mausoleum and the graves inside this one is also quite nice and in exchange for taking care of the mausoleum they can stay inside and live there could you live in a mausoleum Matt? Mm, no <laughs> never experience <laughs> yeah but so where should we go now Matt? Yeah. Because this place is huge. Isn't this the biggest uh, cemetery in Manila? Yes. Or even the Philippines, I don't know. Yeah, this cemetery is actually one of the oldest here in Manila and maybe even the largest as well. It has a space of uh, 54 hectares. And uh, everywhere you can see these mausoleums. It's quite impressive. Like over here, there was a former mayor of Manila. And this one we have here. Wow, it's beautiful inside. You see, like over here, there's somebody living here in this uh, mausoleum. Unfortunately, nobody's home. Yeah, it's also a really interesting place to learn about the history of the Philippines with so many prominent figures buried here. Like, for example, the fourth president of the Philippines, Sergio Osmena, 
and of course the king of Philippine movies Fernando Po and here they even have like a restaurant where you can eat some food I'm actually quite thirsty to be honest <laughs> to be honest this feels a little bit weird to walk here look at this beautiful stained glass windows on this one so here another shot Morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. That's good. Germany? Um, no, close, close. Close in Belgium. <laughs> Just next to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. You want to fight the boxing? Boxing? What? Pancho Villa. Is there boxing here? Here, Pancho Villa. Oh really? Yeah, so one box boxers. Oh, okay. Hey, champion, champion boxing. Oh okay, okay. And you live here? You yeah. live here? And how long you live here? Five decades. Five. Five decades. That's a long time. Ah oh, okay. But before they don't live here. Oh, kami simula nung mga bata pa kami. Asi kila si Indian. Hindi ilan lang kami dito. That's okay, that's okay. Thank you so much. Pero anong ginagawa ko ya? Nililinis nyo yung bawat ano. And then they they will pay with you. Depende yun sa usapan kung quarterly or one year. One year. One year. Quarterly. One year. They paid also. So it's free din na nakatira tayo dito. Uh, so they pay you to take care of it or uh -oh. yeah okay yeah. okay yeah. kuya said you need to learn in filipino so that you know how to play tong kids oh. you know tong ah. yes. <laughs> cards <laughs> poker ah yes 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 <laughs> we will go now bye bye, bye take bye. care yes, see you. bye bye nice you. thank you for the drinks <laughs> thank you all people in the philippines are always so friendly they said that there's someone who are authorized to live here, but there are some are, you know, informal settlers that they they call it squatter. Ah, Without yes. any permission, they put something on the tomb and then they can stay there. Ah, okay. And then don't, they, if they're the client, will will saw with that, they feel so embarrassed because they live in the dirty places like this. So dirty and then they don't give compensation to them. Mm. So what they did is they need to maintain cleanliness of the tomb that they stay and they authorize to stay how whatever they want to stay here. Yeah. And so also, some so some actually live here illegally. Some but they just break some. in a tomb and then yeah. they stay there. Yeah. And other ones they're authorized yeah. to stay here because they need to maintain the tomb yeah. yeah yeah in some way it's uh, really interesting to see how people live here on the graveyard yeah there also people living In our province, love, no one's staying like this. No? Like, oh, yeah. The only thing that let me, you will see that person is someone who live, uh, visiting the tomb and clean with the tomb or take caretaker. 
they called it uh, but not living inside not living inside so is it only here they live inside or maybe there are other cemeteries where they live out inside as well yeah especially here in the city yeah but a lot of them are staying empty too it's not like everywhere they're living right it's only in a few places they're actually living And over here we have it guys, the tomb of Sergio Osmena, the fourth president of the Philippines. And uh, we already passed this location two or three times. And uh, we never noted this because it's quite sober, like you can see. Just this uh, massive tomb and nothing else. No Filipino flag, nothing. Just a sober massive tomb. And who is this over here? You cannot even read it anymore. So guys, this is one of the oldest cemeteries here in Metro Manila. And there are more than 1 million people buried here. This place is huge. And what you also see on these uh, streets here are uh, a lot of dogs, a lot of cats. Hello sir, what are you playing? Solitaire. Ah oh, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. <laughs> you live here? Yeah. Ah. This is your house? And how long you live there? 30 years. 30 years? Oh my god, that's a long time. <laughs> and how is it to live there? Is it not scary? No? No. No, no ghost? No ghost. No, no ghost? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always thought that would be... Addict. What? There is an addict. There is an addict. Ah, okay. No ghost, but there is an addict. <laughs> drug addict. Ah, drug addict. Oh, they're addicts here. Oh, okay. That's not good. That's not good, the addicts. Not a, don't afraid to the ghost. You should afraid to the drug addict. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So there are no ghosts here, but only addicts. <laughs> and you should not be afraid of ghosts, but about the addicts. Yeah, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hey. So it seems there are no ghosts here, but there are a lot of drug addicts here. <laughs> and uh, the guy said, you should not be afraid of the ghost, but you should be afraid of the drug addicts. So yeah, that's another thing we learned here. No ghosts, only drug addicts. To be honest, guys, this isn't the safest district to come. I haven't told you yet, but uh, I'm telling you now. But it's quite interesting to come here. Right, Mats? Yeah. It's my first time to go here. Yeah. Because she's always scared too. <laughs> Don't go to Tondo, it's scary there. Don't go to North Cemetery, it's scary there. And what I do, I go anyway. <laughs> oh, dangerous. I almost uh, <laughs> walked into this uh, hole in the ground. Be careful, I'm mad from the long grass. If there are uh, drug addicts, there can be syringes. So be careful. So here it is. The memorial of Bautista Nakpil a Filipino artist so it seems a lot of uh, Nakpil's family members are buried here as well <laughs> wow guys look at this one let's uh, take a look from a little bit closer what is this one And what I also notice is that everywhere on some graves they, they leave these cards. I have no idea why. So if you know, leave it in the comments. 
Mats has just noticed this beautiful, beautiful mausoleum over here. I have no idea what it is, but look how beautiful it is. Incredible. Look at the details, the faces. Wow. Let's take a look inside, guys. Quite sober. Hello guys, how are you? This is a beautiful place. Look at this beautiful monument. Mausoleo de los Veteranos de la Revolución. Nice, nice place. It's good that you saw it, Mads, because it's a beautiful place. Yeah. In memory for all the Filipino participate in the first war of oh. American civilization. Okay, Mats, thank you. So here we have a military grave of the armed forces of the Philippines, like you can see over here. And just next to the army, we have the Manila police plot with a lot of police officers buried here, like over here, died in the line of duty. So they're actually all killed when they were performing their job. See here another grave, another one killed in line of duty. So sad, you know. Over here we have like a more deserted area of the cemetery. Oh look, they make, uh, what they make here? Is it for plants? Oh yeah, it's a, a path. They need to put some flower arrangements. Yes, oh nice some pottery to put the plants in yeah like you can see over here some beautiful concrete vases and then probably they will paint them and then sell them to get some money more pottery over here I always love to walk around in these areas where normally no tourist ever comes, you know. You can see so many different things and interesting things. Hey! Hello, how are you? Hey! Hello, hello guys! What? Welcome from? Welcome to Belgium. Belgium. You know Belgium? Oh, welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you all. What are you doing here? Welcome to you. No, no, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't drink alcohol, but it's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, thank you. A beautiful. Yeah, Philippines really nice. I love the Philippines. My second time here already. A beautiful dance. What? Dance. Dance. Beautiful dance. Yeah, you you dance? Oh, really? Are you no. gonna dance for no, me? No. no? Oh, okay, okay. It would be next nice. Time, next, time. next time you no dance money for me. Say, no money. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yo. So, as I was saying, they're not used to seeing any tourists here. <laughs> and so nice guys, they invited me to drink there with them, but uh, I don't drink alcohol, so I will not do that. But uh, see, the hospitality in the Philippines, it's amazing. You can play some basketball here, Matt. So here we have it, guys. The tomb of Fernando Poe Jr., the king of Philippine movies. And next to him, his wife, Susan Roses. It's actually a huge memorial but it's like for all his family members who we have more here let's check it out 
here. Others from the Poe family. Overall, the Manila North Cemetery is a really interesting place to visit, especially if you want to learn something about the Philippines' history and, of course, pay some respect to some important people that are buried here. It's a beautiful and peaceful place, even though it's a cemetery. Yeah, it's uh, quite interesting. Look at this one, guys. This is really beautiful. Wow! A pyramid at Manila North Cemetery. Impressive. And over here we have the memorial of Pancho Villa, the first boxing world champion in the Philippines. He was actually quite young, look. Born in 1901 and passed away in 1925. First Filipino world champion boxing, buried here in the North Cemetery in Manila. So here another tomb of another president of the Philippines, Manuel Rojas, who died on uh, April 15, 1948. So you can see many, many presidents are buried here in Manila North Cemetery. And look at that mausoleum over there. It's also really beautiful with the angels in front. Look at this one. You can really see some gorgeous mausoleums here. You can see some mausoleums that are old, that are a little bit destroyed, where people are living inside. And then you can also see some beautiful tombs and of course beautiful mausoleums like this one. Yeah, in some way it is a beautiful and peaceful place here. So guys, thank you for joining me in this vlog, this short walk around Manila North Cemetery. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I hope I see you again soon on another adventure. Bye bye from Robbie. And there is Mats. Bye for Mats. <laughs> and actually, this is my last video in the Philippines. So take care guys. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers.